Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. And that's right, I'm down here in the dungeon. I'm just looking for Kelsey because she said that we had a couple ball python clutches, and I think it's a great way to start today. Hello, Kelsey, how are you? Hey. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, what do we have today? We have uh, two clutches, two, two ball python clutches. All right, let's do it. Let's get into the first one. What's the first one? First up, okay. we have Ooh, a nice lemon blast girl. Yeah. <laughs> Look at mama. She took a little pop at me. She's got some eggs all over the place, Kelsey, but I love this girl. So is this just a lemon blast or is this that het VPI that's why it's so faded? It is the het VPI. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes the het VPI is something where you'll actually see a little bit of fading and oh my gosh, mama is not happy at all. <laughs> Good luck, Kelsey. <laughs> uh, see, come on, mama. You distract her. I'll distract her over here. Ooh, she got a little bit frisky. Come on, mama. I'll hold mama and you get the eggs. How's that sound? Look at that. Whoa. Sheesh, mom, what's going on? Look at that beautiful clutch though. That is a lot of pearly white eggs right there. That's fantastic. And I tell you what, mama is definitely not happy. Whoa, what is she doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. And what was she bred to? She was bred to a black pewter cypress. Oh, nice. That is a really nice animal. I mean, a black pewter cypress with a lemon blast at VPI. Whew, could you get some good babies there? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go ahead and put mama back in here. We'll get you all cleaned up, mama. You did so good, honey. How many eggs? That's a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine eggs. It's amazing how many seven, eight, nine, and even 10 egg clutches we've got this year. I remember when I used to average like six, seven eggs. Now we're averaging more like eight or nine eggs a clutch. So that's absolutely amazing. Great clutch. Mama, great clutch, Kelsey. We got one more. Yes. Let's do it. Next up looks like another big clutch. This looks like a yellow belly, huh? Yes. This is one of our yellow belly females, and in my opinion, our nicest yellow belly. She is absolutely gorgeous. What was she bred to? A dragonfly. Dragonfly. All right. Good. 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 Dragonflies, of course, are the pastel fire pinstripe, and when you breed yellow belly into it, just really brightens it up. So we should get some really cool babies. So let's see what this monster has under here. Oh my God, I'm expecting a really large clutch of eggs. She gave us 11 last year. 11 last year? Oh, I think she might have less this year. That's just my initial opinion. But let's go ahead and get it out. Mama's behaving herself, unlike the Lemon Plus had VPI, who was definitely a little bit cranky. So uh, I'll just, uh, we'll just get these eggs off here. Perfect. All right, so let's see what's the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my gosh! Eleven <laughs> eggs last year. Eleven eggs this year. I thought it was going to be like more like nine or ten. So what? That, that's a couple good clutches today. Absolutely incredible. So as always, Kelsey, thank you, and we'll see you soon. So as you can tell, these guys are extremely small, very cute. So these are our baby garter snakes. So today I'm gonna to show you the process, how we go through and we feed them all. Cause you're thinking, what the heck does that thing start out eating? Today we're gonna to be feeding the baby garter snakes earthworms. And uh, this is like a natural prey item. This is what they would start out eating as a baby. So we're gonna segment them up so they're small enough uh, for the baby garters to eat. As you could tell, the comparison to a penny, that little tiny head, it's gotta be able to eat something. So once we get these segmented up, we'll divide them all up into cups and get them all fed. Okay, so the first thing we do is we're gonna take these guys out of the dirt. I like to put them in a nice strainer and just kinda rinse all the excess dirt and kinda slime off of them first, just so nothing kinda gets caught in the snake's mouth or anything like that. We'll get them separated out after they're cleaned and start to segment them. I know it seems a little bit brutal, but we just have to remember it's scientifically proven that uh, their brains are actually so small they don't even have pain receptors in them. And uh, this is kind of a natural occurring thing in the wild where they segment themselves, regrow back, things like that. Unfortunately, they're kind of low on the food chain. Hey mom, huge news. I'm talking big time right here, okay? Eric almost did three push-ups. He's almost got your record. What? 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 I'm pretty sure my record is more than three push-ups. I don't know. He didn't even have three, so it was actually two. He couldn't get three, but he almost had it. Wow. Well, I'm I'm happy for him. Yeah. That's great. Two so maybe you guys should do like a little push-up competition in the future or something, because I think he might have you beat, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's he's got me beat. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. <laughs> All right, well, that was all. I just wanted to let you know that Eric beat his new personal record and he now has two push-ups. 
I'm actually in the basement over beneath the Reptarium, and you guys know that I'm a visionary and I'm always thinking things. Maybe you can remember back to when I started at the Reptarium and I had this blank room and I had all these visions in my mind. Well, now I'm getting excited about the basement here, right? We're starting to clear some stuff out. As a matter of fact, we have to move these racks out to get this next kind of project started. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ductwork down over here. I've got a partial wall going here. This wall is gonna extend out here, and this room right here is actually gonna be a camera equipment room where we can even do some review stuff down the road, whatever the case. Is, but we can also organize all our gear so we can continue getting really cool shots and find everything because everything's in my office right now a complete mess so this is just gonna be a camera room I know you guys aren't probably extremely excited about that but me and Jay are regardless this wall is gonna be here and then this next room over here which is gonna go basically from right here all the way over to this to the end of this light right here. So this entire room right here is actually gonna be almost like a mini reptarium, but for new Caledonian geckos. So we're gonna have crested geckos, we're gonna have gargoyle geckos, chuhua geckos, and of course, lychee geckos down here, but in really nice cages. We do wanna breed them down here, so they're not gonna be completely reptarium cages, but they're gonna have the backdrops really beautiful, naturalistic, all that type of stuff. Almost like a showroom for breeding reptiles. And I've talked about before that I wanna kinda take breeding reptiles to a new level for me personally, so this is gonna be the the first step to have this kind of gecko room that isn't just like keeping geckos in tubs but keeping them in really awesome kind of display cages where we can breed them and stuff like that so I know right now this doesn't look like much I understand that but in my head I can see it it's gonna be absolutely amazing then when people come to visit they can come and see the new gecko room as well I am super excited about it. and of course the camera room. in the meantime we have to get these last racks upstairs and out of here so I can start working on building this room out <laughs> All right, so we moved them all out. And again, I know that this isn't anything major. I've told you this before. It's about vision. It's about moving forward. I don't like to be stagnant. I always want to make progress. So even if the progress is just clearing the area out so I can build these rooms, uh, that's progress to me, and it makes me happy. Pretty excited, guys. Uh, someone had called us. A good patron of ours had said that he has this awesome mossy leaf tail gecko. So we're getting a chance to take a look at it for the first time. This thing is ridiculous. And Jessica, what exactly is this again? This is a Europlata Sicore. Awesome. Oh, my. My gosh, that thing is ridiculous, man. How long have you had it? Uh, just about a week. Just about a week, oh my gosh. So is this pretty similar care to ours? Oh yeah, very, very similar. Pretty much the same care. Uh, they're a little bit of a smaller species. Yeah, smaller. This is pretty much an adult, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. So these guys are obviously not as big as the giant ones or the frimbriatus, so, uh, but absolutely incredible. I mean, that color, you can understand why they call them mossy oh, yeah. tree frogs, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable, that thing is cool. And again, we'll go ahead, we'll get this set up. We'll give it some time to kind of acclimate and uh, get it eventually on display here at the Reptarium because this thing is ridiculous. Such a cool animal. It's beautiful. And thank you so much. Seriously. No it's yeah, awesome. I really what do appreciate cool it. Critter, critter, man. Awesome. Eric! What's up, dude? Dude, you got those two push-ups the other day. Dude, two, man. Two. That's a new Eric record. That is a new Eric record. So since you, since we can't really afford a gym membership, you know, uh, and you still want to get fit, you know, two push-ups, good job, good job. Hopefully we'll get up to three. This We're next exercise there. will actually help you a lot, okay? Okay, I'm ready. So what you're going to be doing is actually curling this huge Colombian red tail boa. Dude. I love fitness. Fitness burger into my mouth. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly I, what I'm talking dude, about. Big old baconator for Ooh, lunch. Big old bacon. It's dude, a two handed burger. That's okay? that good stuff right there. All right, you ready for these curls, baby? Yeah, I'm ready, man. All right, let's crank this thing open. Spot me, dude. Oh, I got you. I'll spot you. Oh, wow. I don't know what. Dude, I don't, oh, dude, dude, I don't know what curl the, at. That is the biggest pull. Oh, my God, dude. That thing got a bigger. You got this. The biggest boa in the game. All right, you got this, man. Uh, do you know her temperament? Yeah, yeah, just yeah, go yeah, for yeah. It. super nice. Just go for super it. Super nice. <laughs> I think she's nice. Oh my, I can't even pick it up. Dude. Oh my. This is the, oh, I don't know if I can curl this, this man. I'm not kidding. This is so awesome. Oh, oh my God. I can't curl it, dude. Eric, go like this. All right, hold on, dude, hold on, dude. Oh my God. God. I'm not kidding, this is a real workout. Yeah. You weren't lying. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get you fit, boy. We're gonna need 10. One, two, three. Push it, push it. It's freaking heavy, dude. Come on, four, four. Six. Yes, let's go. You got six more. Well, let's go. Five. Four more. Six. Let's go. Let's go. Seven. Keep pushing. It's so heavy, dude. Keep pushing. Come on, I got a regripper. 
Come on, man. Don't go. push out. Eight, two more. Let's go. Yeah, a Let's few go. more. Nine. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ten. That's what I'm talking about, Eric. Fitness. Let's go. You're all like good. That's like the workout it. for the day, I just man. Want no, I'll sit down. Well, I just want to sit down. No, yeah, you can sit down now. You're done. It's a beautiful animal, oh, dude. Look it's at it's so the heavy. Girth. Look at the girth on that. Thing we got to right get this there. thing out of scale. I'm not joking. Oh my. Have God. you yeah. held this thing, dude? Try no. it. I'm not kidding. I don't even. Oh my. I'm not even kidding. It's super heavy, dude. No, no duh. Look at how big it is, dude. That was great, man. Good reps on that. That was solid form. You know, I'm telling you, you're gonna feel the burn tomorrow. That's right. That's right. God bless you. Well, as you know, Brian is a guy whose mind is always going. So he's always got all these new ideas. And part of my job is to keep all of these ideas slash businesses going, which is a full-time job in and of itself. So to help keep track and to keep us all organized, we like to have weekly meetings. It's been a while since we fed the little baby gators and they are crazy. Of course, they're clicker trained. Uh, they come like mad. So we're gonna feed these little monkeys. They're getting big and probably gonna have to go back to Gatorland and let's get some new babies here in the next couple months because uh, they are definitely growing like weeds. But I absolutely love feeding the alligators. So let's go ahead and give it a rip. I tell you what, feeding those guys never gets old. I mean, they are so fun. I've got to get that new batch in so we can clicker train them so that when we send these back, we have other ones that are coming up. But uh, absolutely so much fun. And Salt, isn't she a sweetie? Pretty, 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 I'm going to do a little species spotlight where I go a little bit more in depth about a particular species of animal talk about it you can get some cool shots of it so on like that that way you guys uh, can get a little more knowledge if you like it let me know in the comments if you like this idea we're gonna start with this absolutely gorgeous monkey right here this is actually an abronia lithrocilla which is a red-lipped arboreal alligator lizard now these guys actually come from Mexico and up into Guatemala but with abronia typically they want to be pretty humid these guys actually come from a little bit drier area but you still do have to keep them relatively moist you want to really keep them in a screen cage because they like lots of ventilation these guys actually come from higher elevations like 2,000 to 3,000 feet so you don't have to keep these guys hot as a matter of fact they prefer to keep it kind of cold and to breed these guys you typically have to drop them pretty cool sometimes into the 50s and 60s but they're obviously very arboreal very cool and they're live bears which makes it absolutely incredible so uh, as this guy comes up here and by the way this uh this little dude is a little bit of a biter so I could see him attaching to my earlobe if I'm not very careful but an absolutely incredible animal the thing that's nice about a bronia there's 20 something species of them so there's a lot of variety again these guys sometimes can get really red in color as well obviously red lip means that they have the red on the lip but absolutely incredible and there it is your bronia lithrocilla once again a fun day an amazing time i absolutely love this new vlog and me and jay having a great time together i hope that you're enjoying it and i hope that you enjoy your day because i love you guys so much do me a favor be kind to someone and i promise i'm going to see you guys tomorrow Oh,